Hello and welcome to my Nick Snoob channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to create seamless tile textures in GIMP. And creating seamless tile textures is um, super easy in GIMP and it's worth having GIMP in your in your tool chain if this is the only thing you use it for. Super simple and super useful. Um, so let me just get to a folder here, and here we have a bunch of a bunch of just different textures, and none of these are seamlessly tileable. I'm going to just start a live reload server here, um, and that'll just allow me to bring up a. Basically, it'll just watch my directory, so when I make changes, it'll reload the, the page. This is kind of a bad example. This is a wood texture. This has a seam, but it's kind of hard to see. Um, let me zoom in. Oh, hopefully, this doesn't jar you too much. But you can see the seam right here, and it repeats. But for this image, it's not that noticeable. But let's fix that. So that's this wood one JPEG here. I'm going to open that with GIMP. And super, super simple. We go filters, map, and then we say tile seamless. OK. Now we're going to export that. And I'm just going to call it wood B export. And let's see what that looks like. We'll go wood B, save that. And um, doesn't look like that did refresh. There we go. So now you can see that, that that seam is gone, and we've just got a repeating tile texture. Um, now I'll do one that doesn't work that well. Um, brick, and the reason this isn't going to work that well is just because um, you've got so many, so many lines, it's going to try to blur between them. And it really depends on the brick texture. Sometimes it'll work work fine for brick. It depends on like how how small the bricks are and how much they overlap and stuff. Um, but let's uh, just change our texture in our browser real quick. We'll just make that. That's uh, brick one. Brick one. Save that. Okay, and we can see here the obvious seams. And also just the light to dark. This is light on top, dark on the bottom. So this is obviously tiling, not usable. And let's go open that in GIMP. And again, filter, map, tile seamless. OK. And you can kind of see here where the bricks are kind of overlaying each other. And that's why it doesn't work great for this texture. But still, let's export it and see what it looks like on the page. And we'll just make this brick B. And let's go ahead and pull our page up so we can see that change. Brick B, save. So much better. Um, if you had some text and stuff on this, this would actually be usable as a, as a background now. Or also, if you're in like a three D three uh, D animation program, um, creating seamless you know, tile textures um, to use uh, to surface surface objects with, um, this would this would work a lot better than the the previous image we had. Um, let's take a look at another one. Um, Let's go, let's see, uh, wood four. So, and I'm just doing repetition so you can see <laughs> how this works. So here we've got an obvious seam down the middle here and then over here. Um, so not really great. Um, let's open that up open with uh, GIMP, and we will just, yep, filter, map, tile seamless, okay, if 
file export as. And let's go to our web page and then bring this up and wood 4B. Save that. Ah, didn't, didn't catch it. There it goes. Um, and now that now those seams are gone. Now this is this would be you know perfect texture for for a web page. I'll get that out of the way so you can see it. So it looks great. Um, let's see, are there any more that we want to try here? I mean, this would obviously work great. Um, some of the wood ones will will not. Um, but it does it does a lot of magic. Like you saw with the brick, this was dark on the bottom, light on the top. It kind of averaged that out, so you don't get that repeating dark, dark light pattern. Um, yeah, let's try this one and just see what it looks like in the browser real quick. That's wood six. Wood six. And obvious repeating here. You're not the the horizontal. It's right here. Here's the edge, and you can see it a little bit, but not that obvious. And let's go fix it. Filter map um, tile seamless. Okay, file export as wood 6b. Back to our web page, wood 6b. Save. And there we go. Now the tiles, the seam is gone. Um, Go ahead and minimize this, close that, and go back to you. So I hope that helps you make tile seamless, uh, <laughs> seamless tileable textures in GIMP. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss future videos. Thank you. I hope you have a nice day.